question for you. Yes. If you had a chance to send your future self a message, what would you say? Well, a local seventh grade teacher has been giving his students that writing assignment for more than two decades. This was such a fun job for me to do and work on. He holds on to those letters for five years in his house, then he mails them to the students right before they graduate. I went down the rabbit hole and found a treasure trove of letters. Dear future me, how are you doing? Dear future self, how have you been doing lately? I'm in seventh grade writing this letter to you. Right now, I am in the seventh grade and I am 13 years old. One question I'm dying to ask you is, are you still in dance? Just take a piece, pass it back. It's that time of year when Mr. Schilling's seventh grade English class at Bethel Park's Independence Middle School starts a special assignment. Whose address goes here? Mine or yours? Mine. A blank page to write to themselves in the future. They can write about whatever's on their seventh grade minds in their back to the future letter. Also, is COVID still a thing? Is everyone still wearing masks? Mr. Schilling stores each class's letters and mails them out the week they graduate. It's a lot of work. A little bit. You know, it's collecting and housing, so we store, I store them all. So I have to collect them all, make sure they're all posted the right way, addressed the right way, and then I box them, store them, and then every June, right before graduation, go to the storage area, get the box out. Take him to the post office. I'm so honored. Postal worker Kathy Hitt expects Jeff Schilling's box of Back to the Future letters every spring. She's personally metered them for two decades, 2,500 letters. Returned to package, actually, and saw Kathy and said, I'll see you in June. And she shook her head and said no. And I, I actually started to tear up. I, I had to leave. I, I said, I'll be back. As Kathy retires, she too has a message to her future self. Just try to plan ahead and keep busy. You do have a plan. It's just like another, uh, another adventure that I'm going to be going on. I'm going to miss this one, but um, and I'm going to miss Jeff too. I don't know. I think my seventh grade self would be like proud of what I'm doing. So <laughs> I think that's cool. <laughs> Bethel Park graduate Leanna Robbins, now an engineering major at the University of Pittsburgh, reads her letter from her 13-year-old self. I talked about doing twirling in college, which was cool. That was cool to see that I was excited about doing that, and then I actually did that. So I was kind of happy with myself after I did that. Her advice to this year's young letter writers. I definitely say, like, everything that you're thinking right now, like, write about that. Because in five years, these hands will open letters addressed to a very important person. So one thing that I want to tell you is that live life, live your life to the fullest and let go a little bit and just think freely and be free and do everything that you want to do in the time that you have. So Andrew, I have to tell you that I put Adina's parents' email addresses in my calendar in my phone for five years from now so that when she graduates from Bethel Park High School, we'll go back and interview her again to have her read her letter when she graduates. And she's very wise right now. I mean, she's very wise. I mean, that letter is, is probably going to hit home five years from it now. It certainly will on That's graduation great. day. That is really cool. It was fun. <laughs> All right. Well.